what an idiot. I mean, what? A, I mean, just stupid. Um, I didn't see it till today, but um, he's embarrassed about it. He's upset about it. That's obviously a childhood friend of his. Um, he grew up and played with there at Buford and um, knows him. Hadn't seen him in forever, but just not real smart. But to be honest with you, I don't have time to waste energy on that. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, like my focus is on Tennessee. I'm not worried about that. What is up, YouTube? As you guys saw from the beginning of the video, you have to talk about this Kirby Smart, Jake Pope situation. I have mixed opinions. I want to hear everyone else's thoughts in the comment section down below. So y'all leave y'all comments and y'all thoughts down below in the comment section. Like the video and subscribe if you're new. Try to hit 5K. Um, listen, bro, I get it. Jake Pope, that's your teammate. That that well, that's your old childhood friend, and you know you you happy for him for beating y'all. But it's like, where's the competitiveness? Of the game like we just got stopped it was 28 to 10 and really and truly it should have been like 28 7 or something like we was getting destroyed like we really got bullied that whole game and you're going to tell me that after the game like your first thoughts is to jump around and parade with someone who just dominated obliterated you friend or not like we're trying to win why are we celebrating like take your behind back to the locker room and bro it's like where's the focus at where's the discipline like this is why Georgia sucks this year because the lack of discipline, the lack of, the lack of the 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 poor coaching this year. And Kirby Smart's a good coach, and this year he's just been a poor. He's been coaching Georgia poorly. The discipline on the team is terrible. Carson Beck is throwing interceptions left and right, and we won't bench him to start another quarterback because what can we lose? Like we suck. And I always consider Georgia a top five school because it really is a top five school. But this year, we're not top five. And generally, I'm being honest with y'all. And if you know football, you know this too. Georgia is the better school than Ole Miss. And we got destroyed. Not saying Ole Miss is a bad school. Because Ole Miss not at all is a bad school. Especially what they showed us Saturday. They showed us that <laughs> if y'all niggas not going to take it serious, we finna just pump with you. But it's like, we always, we, we get, we, a five-star recruit would rather, would rather go to Georgia than Ole Miss. Not saying Ole Miss is terrible because Ole Miss is a great school, but we're, we went into, we are going into that game. We're supposed to win that game. Not blow y'all out, but we're supposed – you're supposed to – if Ole Miss lost that game, it's okay. We played Georgia. But it's like, why did we – like, come on, bro. We're we're a better school than Ole Miss, and we got to go up against Tennessee this, this weekend, and there's a high chance that Tennessee beats us too because the way that we've been playing, the discipline, like you really got, you're really celebrating on the sideline with a nigga that just beat you, bro. It's like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Like, like the hell are you doing? Like, why are you jumping around on the sideline? Like, the nigga just beat you. Are you, do you want to be on Ole Miss? Like, what's up? Like, what's going on with you? Like, why would you do that? But that's really all I have to say. He's dumb for doing that. But, you know, we all make mistakes. We're all human. So, like Kirby Smart, but he's embarrassed. It probably will never happen again, you know. Uh, but make sure you guys like the video, subscribe if you're new, and peace out.